Hey guys, what's up? It's, why do I do that sometimes? Sorry, you know it's Tyranoid, of course you do. Ninja! Ninja! Yeah, anyway, we're back for part 26. Let's see if we can get this done below 40 parts. Which we should be able to, okay. but if I fail miserably. Oh, I hate this part. This is tough. I just want to get onto the Russian level. Um, if I've got enough room left on my, uh, like, memory left today, guys, on my camera after this Let's Play, I might also put up one bit of multiplayer gameplay for this. It all depends how I'm feeling as well. Because this game is modded to hell, so if I can find a good game and I feel like doing it, and I've got enough space on my memory, I will upload some World at War multiplayer gameplay. Just as, like, a kill it all cool off after I've just played the campaign. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We're getting to that point in the game where they're fucking throwing unlimited grenades at us. Look at me! The Emperor of Japan supplied me with unlimited grenades. You grenade whores. Actually, I'm not going to pick up that carbine. I was going to, but then I thought, no. I ain't not going to do that. Hey, there's someone over here, isn't there? time. That has never happened before. They were just popping out of the middle of nowhere. No problem, I've handled an MG in my time. I don't know what that light machine gun's called, actually. Um, you don't actually get it in like the form of being able to hold it like you know it's not a mobile weapon also um, I, I downloaded the uh, demo since I got my PSP online now because I didn't have online when I my, previously had my PSP oh I got it online and I downloaded the um, oh no you don't I downloaded the um, Jack and Dax and the Lost Frontier demo now I played Jack 1 to 3 and I love those games and I played Dax doing that's amazing as well I've not played Jack X because I'm not a really big racing fan, but I heard bad news about The Lost Frontier, but I wanted to try it out for myself, you know, and see if it was something I'd be interested in, and it, it's not bad. I don't see what all the hate is. The ship combat's not amazing, but it's not bad either, and the only thing I didn't really like about it, because the demo's really long, it gives you a... Um, it gives you like a feeling of every different type of gameplay in there. So you've got your ground combat, you've got your exploration, you've got your Dark Daxter, the um, levels where you fly the ship. And the only level I did not like was Dark Daxter. It's just a, you know, scroll along and sort of, you know, just do everything, your path sort of thing. But that's the best way to explain it. So that's not really something I like, so that's not suited to me, but that's just a Dark Daxter, alright? But the game is not bad. Don't let Jack and Daxter fans destroy it for you, because I'm not going to say I'm a hardcore fan of Jack and Daxter, but I'm a fan of the series nonetheless. As I've recently become a fan of Sly Cooper as well. The PS2 platformers were great, weren't they? But yeah, it's not bad. Oh no, here we go. Right, this is the emotional scene in the game. This is... I wouldn't say over-emotional, I'm just saying, like... They try to make you look, feel sorry bad for the characters dying, but this is the only time when I actually do. Now nah, they give you a choice. Say, Polonsky or Roebuck. So 
since Robok's impossible to save almost, I saved Robok. No, Polanski. The music works well with it though. But yeah, that that works because you you fought by Robok the whole game. It, that's why you spoiler alert for anyone who's not played it at the moment, so please skip ahead if you don't want to hear this, but that's why Soap McTavish's death in Modern Warfare 3 was emotional, because you you played as him as well, and you had been with him over the course of three games, so, but when they tried to kill off, um, do you know what, I forgot his name as well because he's not that important, but the sergeant you had at the beginning of this game and he died on level 2, don't do that because that's not emotional. Making sure he's dead. Oh shit, guy, this man, this man's crazy. Wow, this level, this level's gonna be pretty long, isn't it, guys? Who banned me? Actually, I'm going to pick up this M1 carbine now. Seems like the right thing to do since the M1 runs almost out of ammo. Hold on, guys. Alright, I'm going to stop it there and we'll be right back for the next part.